Welcome to the new Building Your Life After Traumatic Brain Injury channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this presentation. Thank you. Sustaining and living with a traumatic or acquired brain injury can leave us feeling baffled and confused. Once What once seemed familiar now is foreign. The way that we interact with people and with ourselves, the way that we learn, and the way that we are what we are able to do had, may have changed. As a result, we may find ourselves frustrated, disappointed, and disillusioned. Many questions may come to mind, questions that seem to be unanswered. On this YouTube channel, we, run, we are going to explore some of those questions. And as you have questions that you've been wanting to have answered that you haven't had answered, please leave those questions in a comment here on this uh, video presentation and we'll explore those questions together. Let me share a little with you about myself. I sustained a traumatic brain injury as a result of a car accident when I was 10 years old in 1967, some 51 years ago. At the time of the accident I sustained an open skull fracture with right frontal lobe damage, a severe brain bruise, with brainstem involvement. I remained in a coma for three weeks. I also su sustained a fractured left femur or thigh bone at the, in the accident. I remained in traction for six to seven weeks and then was put into a full body cast, which I remained in for five months. After being taken out of the full body cast, I had to learn how to walk, talk, read, write, and speak in complete sentences. After I was able to walk, my parents took me to a neuropsychologist and he had me undergo two EEGs as well as a battery of psychosocial testing. The results from the testing were shared with my family, however, they did not share those results with me. The results showed that I'd probably never be able to succeed beyond high school academically. However, I was able to get beyond high school. I was able to achieve an undergraduate degree in 10 years, although I attended four different university and colleges and my graduate degree in rehabilitation counseling in three and a half years with two different graduate schools. I share this with you to encourage you to not give up on your process. The journey may take long, which it has for me and continues to be a persistent process. I just would really encourage you to keep working towards your dreams and your goals. Again, we're going to answer questions that may many brain injury folks have. And even for folks that do not have brain injuries, you may like to ask questions. And we'll seek to explore and answer those questions on this channel. I'll say it's long for now, but before I do, let me encourage you with this as I need to remember. Please do not give up on your process, a loving God, or yourself, because more will be revealed to you and to me with time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and thank you again for your time. I look forward to our next episode. Bye now.